on my last video, I told you guys to um, request routines for me, and everyone requested a hair care routine, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so I'm starting off the night before. It's like 10:39 at night, and I'm gonna show you guys what I do before a wash day. I only do this like once a week. I don't do it that much. Um, but this is literally how I grow my hair by doing this because I leave it in overnight and that's how you're going to get the best results. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I do before bed and then also what I do in the morning and how I wash my hair and all of that. But get yourself a shower cap. I actually didn't have any so I went to Walgreens and bought some because all I have is like one that I use every day. Um, I used to have like a pack of a bunch of disposable ones that I got and I don't know where they all went. And Cassidy's here, so if you see me looking over there, that's why. But yeah, so I'm gonna start this off by doing this and I'm gonna put my oil in my hair. Um, I use an oil, it's from my company, but it's infused with tea tree oil and um, what's it called? Why can I not think of the name of it right now? Rosemary, what the heck is, I don't know why I'm so tired right now because I haven't done anything today. <laughs> like I've literally been at home all day. But rosemary oil and tea tree oil. And so I put that in every single like week, once a week, sleep with it in and then wake up, wash it out and then also do my hair care routine tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys it now. Um, This part is optional, but I do this because I forget what it's called, but if you massage your scalp while you put in the oil, it like stimulates something in your scalp. I don't know exactly how to say it, but if you know, just, just comment it. I feel like people know what I'm talking about. But this is what I use. It's the So Silky, and like I said, it's infused with rosemary and tea tree. And I just kind of put this just on my scalp. I don't put it like all throughout my hair, just on your scalp. And yeah, usually I have like my mom help me because I can't really see. So do you wanna help me? <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna put this on. Do you want to do it for Maybe, I don't know. You can do it after. She doesn't want to wash her hair tomorrow. <laughs> That's why. But her hair is a lot harder to wash than mine, so. But yeah, so let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so we just put it throughout my scalp and I'm just gonna go in with this little thing and just kind of do this. And it also helps to like even it out. You don't need to put a lot, like just like a good amount. This video is not gonna be like aesthetically pleasing at all. So, because my hair care routine isn't very like aesthetic. It's just, but it, it works, so. Also, it's not gonna look very pretty because there's a lot of oil in it. But after that, you can just, you can put it in like a little bun or something. That's usually what I do, but I don't, I probably have to go to my room to get like a little hair tie, but just put it in a bun like this or just like something, or honestly, sometimes you don't even need one because you could just put it like this. And I know I look <laughs> disgusting with this on, but you know what? It grows my hair, so I don't really care. And my hair is like so healthy now, so I'll, I'll risk it for night so yeah you just sleep like this and i'll see you guys in the morning when i wake up and i'll show you guys like how i wash it out and then just you know the rest of my hair care she is gonna do it now so we're gonna <laughs> go to her hair wait you should just time lapse it hmm? so you should just time lapse it yeah i'll be right back I'm really Okay, so we put it in her hair. Now she's gonna put the shower cap on. <laughs> and we're both gonna see you guys in the morning. But yeah, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I just woke up and I'm just brushing through my hair with this comb so I can kind of get all the oil like even that one on my head. 
And then I'm gonna get in the shower and wash it out. I took my shower cap off because that just, it looks so disgusting. Um, but yeah, my hair is looking so oily. And also when we get in the shower, we're gonna double wash. So you're gonna shampoo twice. Um, just so you can make sure you get all of the oil out. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in the shower. But yeah, let's get in the shower now. Show you guys like how I wash my hair the best that I can. So first I'm just gonna get in and just kind of rinse out all of the oil and kind of just run your hands through it to kind of get it out. And like I said, when you have any type of like hair mask or oil in your hair, anything to like stimulate your scalp is really good. So right now I'm just kind of like going in and kind of like scrubbing my scalp a little bit. And also that's gonna help to get all of the excess oil out. So you can just go ahead and do that. And don't judge because my shampoo and conditioner bottles don't look very pretty, okay? I've had them for a very long time and the labels have kind of came off. But that's part of being a business owner because you get all of like the testers and they don't have like the best logo. But this is the shampoo I'm using. Um, this one is with coconut honey extract and it's all organic and so it's like a little bit different than a normal shampoo you would use you're going to notice if you use this it's a little bit more watery but it's a lot better for your hair because it actually has organic ingredients so i always shake it before i use it open it up just put like a little bit so as you can see it's like a little bit more watery than one you get at the store just like put it in your hands and then start washing it and we're going to wash twice First, you're just gonna focus on like the scalp and then you can move to your whole head. So just kind of like evenly getting it all throughout your head like this. I noticed a really big change when I started using organic shampoo. It literally had the biggest change with like my hair growth. I don't know why, because I didn't know that it was like such a big deal, but it really is. So if you change, you'll definitely see a difference. But I like to just kind of scrub it. And if you guys have one of these, if you don't, you can leave it out. But I have like all of my stuff down there and I have a little like head scrubber. So I'm gonna get that and I'll come back. So this is what mine looks like. It's a little bit smaller. I like it better just cause I think it feels better than like the pointy silicone ones. Um, I got this at Forever 21. You could probably find it on Amazon at, or Forever 21, I don't know. But I like to just go in, scrub my scalp with it. Just like this. And you could wash it once. I just like to do it twice because I naturally have really oily hair. So when I do it twice, it just guarantees that there's going to be no extra oil in my hair. So then you can rinse that out just like a little bit and then we'll go in with the second part of shampoo. Now we're going to go in with our second thing of shampoo. And also, I've never said the name of this. This is so silky. It's from Phil Divine, obviously. Um, but I also want to talk about how it smells. It has such a good smell to it. And what I love about it is that there's not any added in scents. It's literally, the way it smells, it's from its ingredients. So that's really nice too, because I feel like you're not putting in like a weird like chemical to make your hair smell good. You're just your hair is going to smell like the natural ingredients in the product. So that's what I really love. And I kind of use like a little bit more. Usually I would just use like two. But since we're getting oil out, we're going to go in with a little bit more. Because we got to get all this oil out. And then we can move down to the end. Just kind of scrubbing the ends like this. And a lot of people always ask me if it, it like foams up like this. And it does. It literally acts as a normal shampoo. It's just a little bit like more watery, but that's because it's like an organic shampoo. So I don't know if you guys have ever used other organic shampoos, but usually they're a little bit more watery than like a normal thick one. But yeah, we're just we're just washing away. And then you can kind of like scrub the back like this. And then once you're done, you can just rinse it out just like this. Get all it off of my hands. And yeah, just rinse it out. And then I'll come back when I do the conditioner. 
Okay, so once all the shampoo is out, this is a really big step, is making sure you have no water in your hair. Like the conditioner is the most important part of this for your ends. So you're gonna wanna make sure that there's no water because you just don't want it there. You want as much product on it as you can. I like to split my hair down the middle and I like to just put it each on the ends. Um, I don't really put conditioner on my scalp as much unless my like scalp is feeling a little dry, which it usually isn't because I have such curly hair. Also, same thing, you're just going to shake it and then we can go in. And this is a little bit thicker than the shampoo because it's the conditioner. Um, I really don't need that much. I just... <laughs> that was weird. But just kind of put it on your ends. And I like to do this just so I make sure that all my ends are like really nice in it. And kind of just take your hands and go like this. I always hear people say whatever you can hold in a ponytail is what is supposed to be your conditioner. Um, I never put it on the top of my head. It's just going to make it more oily. And you don't really need it up there. That's really where your like, shampoo is supposed to go. So, but do your hair however you want to do it. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. And I lose a lot of hair when I wash my hair. And it's not because of like any... Well, it is. It's just because of my PCOS. If you guys have PCOS, you know that you lose a lot of hair. And so that's another reason why my hair care journey is like super important to me. Because I have a lot of hair loss with it. So the fact that my hair is like healthy and like this really says a lot. But... It's an everyday thing, so, yeah, we love that. I let it sit for like a couple minutes. Usually during this time I would like wash my body or like exfoliate or shave or just something like that. But today I'm not doing that because I'm in a bikini and I'm just showing you guys my hair routine. Um, so I'll come back in a couple minutes when it's time to rinse it out. So now I'm just rinsing it out of my hair. I'm trying to show you guys the back so you guys can kind of see like the length and everything like that, so just rinsing it out. Nothing special when rinsing out conditioner just because it's like, you know. And if before I see all the comments that are like, who's recording this of you in the shower? It's Cassidy. <laughs> the girl you saw last night in the video, she's recording it. Oh, speaking of that, how did you like the oil? <laughs> Does it feel nice in your hair? I actually really do like this oil. It smells like, good, Like, it right? smells really yeah. good. Stop. Yeah, we're just rinsing out. Yay. But I'm gonna see you guys when I get out of the shower and then I'll show you guys what I do for all of that. Okay, so now I'm out of the shower and I usually have like a hair wrap that I have, but it's dirty, so I'm washing it right now. So a towel is going to have to work today. Um, but I actually don't blow dry my hair right when I get out of the shower because I heard this from um, someone that did my hair one time and literally ever since I've just always listened to him. Um, but when you get out of the shower, your hair is too wet. So like your hair is too fragile to start going in with like a blow dry brush. So wait till your hair is like still just like a little bit damp and then that's when you want to do it. So that's just kind of always what I've done and I'm just kind of going to make sure I squeeze out any water. Um, so I like to wait till my hair is just like a little bit damp and then I'll start styling it so that it makes like a good time to like do your makeup if you want to while you wait, which is usually what I do. Or I just let it blow dry, blow dry, air dry. Um, but I use this. You can get this at like CVS. It's just the Hask Keratin Protein. And um, this used to be my favorite shampoo before I started using Feel Divine. So um, the Hask one, that used to be like my favorite. Um, and then I started using Feel Divine. And I like it better because it has a lot less ingredients. And it's my company. But this brand used to be my favorite, but I still le I still use the five in one leave in spray. Um, yeah, I guess that's really all it is. But it's always just made my hair detangle really nice, and I've just always used it like for years. So, anyways, you can take a brush. I use this brush, and it's dirty. I know I need to get it out, but. I only use this when my hair is wet. I wouldn't use this when my hair is dry, but it's like made for thin hair. And I don't have like the thinnest hair. 
but I still like to use it just because when your hair is wet, it's in its most fragile state. So that's why I like to use a really, really like gentle brush. And then usually I'll use like a more bigger brush. It kind of just depends how I'm feeling. I don't know. I have a lot of brushes, but when my hair is wet, I always use this one. And I always start from the bottom. And my hair detangles so nice. Like I never really have knots in it or anything like that. Um, the leave-in is definitely good. And I think it also depends on like what shampoo you're using and conditioner and all of that. So I just like to go through. I always split my hair up. I just feel like it's the easiest. So I just brush it out. And then I'll put it to the back and kind of just brush it from the back too. And I always put in clips when I do my makeup, but I like to put these in when my hair is drying too, because for some reason, my little baby hairs right here always curl up. Like they always curl up. So this kind of helps my front ones to kind of just stay down and it kind of like keeps them there while it dries. Um, so I always just, do this for now it's just always been something i do like even if i'm not doing my makeup i usually have these in um but now i'm just gonna let my hair air dry might do my makeup right now i'm not sure what exactly what i'm gonna do um but i'm gonna come back to you guys when my hair is like at the state where i'm ready to start blow drying it um letting your hair air dry is if you have like hair like me letting it air dry is really good for your hair because it's just isn't like doing too much to it but yeah i'll see you guys when i get to that point okay guys so i did my makeup and i actually ended up just letting it air dry completely there's still a little bit leftover oil in but that will just come out the next time i wash it um usually if you do oil mask you guys know that some stays in so i'll just have to wash it again like probably later today and get it all out but this side really has no oil in it so i just wanted to show you guys just how nice and silky my hair looks i didn't even straighten it this is literally an air dried um this is for all hair types this routine too because the shampoo and conditioner are made for all hair types but i i just love this stuff and i think you guys will really see the change when you guys um start using organic products i absolutely love it i mean my hair i also a good thing too to do is get your hair trimmed i know i, I hate getting my hair trimmed but it makes such a difference it's weird because the more you trim it the more your hair grows um, I trim it every two months, like an inch, so I'll get like this much off, literally the littlest amount, and it makes such a difference. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. That's my hair care routine. Um, how I've literally grown my hair. You guys know it used to be like to here, actually to here, and I trim it every month, and I just got a trim like two weeks ago, so yeah, it's grown how much, and it just feels so full and really nice, so definitely go and get yours at Feel Divine Co. Dot com and i will see you guys next time let me know if you guys want any other routines i know this was an aesthetic i try to be aesthetic but sometimes i'm not but i love you guys bye